thank you for joining us at the state's premier celebration of business. Tonight, we have the opportunity to celebrate the success and innovation of the Boeing Company and other great companies, some of the best in Missouri business. And at the same time, we're recognizing Governor Matt Blunt and other of our elected leaders who have proven to be the best at their efforts to make this state a great place to work and live. And to set the stage for tonight's celebration, we're proud to bring you the best in St. Louis jazz and blues, Kim Macy. Mama Mia, Papa Mia, God bless the child that's got his own. You know, here at the Science Center, our mission is to ignite and sustain lifelong science and technology learning. And that happens a lot of ways. It happens in an instant in one of our galleries or a film or an interaction with one of our staff when that light bulb goes on in a young person's mind. And we all know, all of us who are parents know what that looks like. But you have to sustain that over time with parents and teachers to make sure that that turns into the opportunity uh, that all the young people deserve to make a decision about their future. And I, I'd like to compliment the chamber and its support of education around the state and particularly Governor Blunt in his term, the, the good work that he did on science education, recognizing that if we are going to be a leader in the 21st century, Missouri needs to turn out bright young people, not just who are scientists and engineers and technicians and health workers, but literate citizens, people that can understand the issues that we all face as citizens on issues like climate change and energy policy and so on. Now we have a very special guest, uh, and with a tinge of sorrow, I introduce him for the last time at our annual meeting. Governor Blunt came into office at a time when our state was outspending the revenue it was bringing in. He made tough decisions and took action to eventually post the first budget surplus this state has seen in years. He leaves office with a long list of pro-growth accomplishments, which are growing our economy and adding jobs to our state, even in this tumultuous time. I certainly hope to uh, maintain a lot of the great uh, friendships that have been uh, developed over the years as uh, we've had, I think, a transformational impact on our state and it's certainly a pleasure uh, to be at the uh, chamber uh, banquet day once again uh, and to be with uh, some outstanding leaders who have uh, proven to be outstanding leaders for for our state you know i think many of you do remember the situation that faced our state uh, just four years ago we had out of control spending misplaced budget priorities too many lawsuits too much regulation a uh, state government that was often more focused on fleecing job creators rather than encouraging job creation, budget cuts that really did harm our education system. And these were serious of problems uh, that had to be addressed. And it certainly had to be addressed if we were going to ensure the future prosperity of Missourians. And it's not always been easy, but by pursuing uh, common sense and innovative policies, we have put our state and our fellow Missourians in a better position uh, to succeed. We enacted, and I say we because it uh, involved a lot of the legislative leaders that are gathered here, and certainly the governor's office, but also the chamber as a very um, active partner as we improved our state's jobs and business climate. We've enacted lawsuit reform and workers' compensation reform to encourage job growth. We put the interest of working Missourians above the interest of the trial bar. Um, every year, uh, the Bank of America Foundation gets together and funds money out of the charitable trust to each of the cities where we do business. And um, we use most of those dollars, as you can imagine, in our own cities to fund the communities where uh, we reside. But once a year, the five presidents for the state of Missouri get together, pool some of their resources, and pick an organization that we think truly does help the entire state. State. And I'm proud to say for the second year in a row, we have chosen the Mets Foundation for our pooled resource funding. And I would like to give this check for $125,000 to Deb Hollingsworth. Thank you. <laughs> On 
on behalf of the Bank of America Foundation, and I want to thank my friend Deb for chairing the Mets Foundation for the past three years. I want to thank the Chamber, of course, for this wonderful award. And Governor Blunt, I can't say enough how important it is for us to have a governor who supported this with your vision and leadership to help create an empowered workforce. We need so much to have a workforce that can, especially in this economy, that's educated in the jobs of the future, and that is in math, engineering, technology, and science. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you. Well, I just want to thank Pat Mercurio and Bank of America for this outstanding support to the Math, Engineering, Technology, and Science Coalition once again. It shows the power of the businesses of Missouri and the vision of our leaders to be able to focus on such an important area. After all, we know that in these economic times and in the future, it's going to be our educated workforce that's going to drive the economy of this state, this nation, and the world. And I'm very pleased that we have this great support. Appreciate everything that the Missouri Chamber of Commerce has done to move this issue forward. There are lots of programs to support. Education is always a key issue. But this one really translates into effective leadership and jobs for our state. And our economic future is essential. And math, engineering, technology, and science is that. After all, math and science are the language of economic prosperity. Thank you very much. Our final award tonight is our Champion of Enterprise. And we are honoring a Missouri company that is truly a cornerstone of our state's economy and history. To do this honor, I would like to ask Don Smith, Chief Operating Officer of GKN Aerospace, to join us on stage to present this award. Don's company, GKN, is sponsoring the Champion of Enterprise Award this evening. Missouri and St. Louis have a long tradition in the aerospace industry that is upheld today by the Boeing Company. St. Louis is headquarters for Boeing Integrated Defense Systems, and Boeing has nearly 16,000 employees in the region, making it the largest private sector employer in our state. Boeing is actually the largest manufacturer that we have, and the second largest employer behind, I think, BJC, if that's not correct, um, overall. St. Louis is also home to Boeing Phantom Works, the company's advanced research and development unit that is the catalyst of innovation for the organization. The company's economic impact on Missouri is unmistakable. In 2007, Boeing IDS purchased more than $760 million in supplies from vendors in St. Louis. Its total impact on the St. Louis region was calculated to be more than $2.65 billion in 2005. But just as important, as its economic impact, Missourians can be proud to be home to a company that has done so much to protect our freedom. Since 1939, when the McDonnell Aircraft Company was established by James S. McDonnell in St. Louis, Missouri, more than 11,000 fighter aircraft have been built in St. Louis. It's no coincidence that the building you're in right now is called the James S. McDonnell Planetarium. In addition to our state's history of producing the best fighter aircraft, St. Louis is considered the cradle of human space flight. It was here that workers built the Project Mercury spacecraft, which was the first to carry a human being into space and return that person and the craft to Earth safely. We could not be more proud than to make Boeing our 2008 champion of enterprise. Please stand and welcome two good friends, Vice President and St. Louis Executive George Roman, and our Director of Government and Community Relations and Board Member for the Missouri Chamber, Evans Richardson. Governor, Don, Dan, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's an honor to be here, and particularly the heritage that we all heard about tonight with uh, McDonnell Douglas, McDonnell Aircraft, and now into Boeing. And, and uh, Dan and I talked earlier this evening, 45 years we've been a member of this chamber, and uh, it's great leadership, and uh, we thank you very much for all you've done. And Governor, we're gonna miss you, sir. So on behalf of the 16,000 uh, workers we have here, and I gotta tell you, they're the best, not only in the country, but the world, where they make the greatest products. They're a joy to represent, and uh, it's, it's humbling to see the great things that they do. So. And how proud can we be that they're in Missouri and uh, St. Louis based with their operation? So how about one more round of applause for George Brown and his team? And that concludes the award portion of tonight's program. Let me end by saying it's a great honor to be here tonight to recognize our award winners. 
I would like to also thank our Board of Directors, Mr. Chairman, and those members who are able to make it tonight. And finally, I would like to thank our sponsors again for their support in making all this possible. We all know that businesses in Missouri and around the nation are facing challenges right now. The Missouri Chamber is too. We're not immune from the, the realities of our economy. But I hope tonight's event has served as a reminder of our state's strong, diverse economy and the good things we have to build on. As we look to the future, I'm confident we can produce great accomplishments for our state. Once again, Matt Blunt, Governor Blunt, uh, thank you so much for all your service to the state. You've been a great ally and a great friend of ours. Thank you so much. And to all of you, you're the heart of Missouri's economy. Thank you for being in business in the great state of Missouri. I hope you had a great evening, and thanks a lot for being here. We look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.